Hey, what is up guys? It is your boy Speed here and today we're back with five of the top meta lanes that pros are using. Well, actually one of them is just something I came up with. <laughs> it's really funny, but it's, it's legit. That's gonna be at the end of the video. Nonetheless, these are five lanes that you should be using in your pubs, in your ranked games, in order to stomp your laning stage and move on to the late game and crush there as well. So if you're excited for this video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and get your game leaps up right now! All right, let's get into the video. So the first lane that we're going to be going over, number one, is Undying Phantom Assassin. Recently had to play against it in a pub. You know we won, because I never lose. But, it's obnoxious. I also watched a pro team execute on this recently, and frankly, here's the strength of this lane. PA is weak in what regards, right? When is PA weak? PA is weak at level one. The hero is simply weak early on into the lane, because typically she just can't trade until she gets levels, right? Until she's level like four or five with shreds. However, Undying is the strongest level one hero in the game. Funny enough, PA, you know, actually pumps out quite a bit of damage early on. The thing is, she usually just can't use the damage because if she does use the damage, she kills herself. She puts herself in a horrible position, but obviously with an Undying, it doesn't matter. He stacks up a bunch of decays. He drops the enemy to about 400 max HP, probably 300 actual HP, PA daggers, and they're dead. It's as simple as that. Now, you might be saying, speed is this all this combo is good for? You know, the fact that Undying secures the lane? I mean, no. That's the main thing, though. However, in the mid game, there's a lot of synergy that you might not know, right? There's a lot, and I mean a lot of synergy that you might not see. First off is the Tombstone, right? Tombstone does what that PA likes. It gives vision. Sure, it's also a distraction. You know, every hero likes the distraction from that hero. But at the end of the day, you get vision. Every single uh, a zombie provides PA with the ability to jump with her level 15 talent to whatever target that has a zombie on them, and typically that's basically every single hero in a fight. Next up, on dying frontlines. What does PA not do? Frontline. She doesn't frontline until she has BKB. And so Undying allows her to jump whoever she wants because so many spells will be expended on him. Alright, next up on the list we have Weaver Io. Yeah, so, if you guys have been watching the recent Alliance series, you'll be seeing them run this combo. Now, why is it good? Well, there's a couple of main reasons I'd like to talk about, a couple of main changes uh, between Weaver and between Io that are very important to note that made this combo extremely broken. And I'm not just saying that. <laughs> it's not like, oh, it's broken. No, it's like actually broken. So, first things first, Weaver Sukuchi was changed where... It's not a cap. So old Sakuchi used to just put you at like 550 flat or whatever movement speed cap was at the time. Now it just gives you a meta movement speed. So it gives you a bonus 200 movement speed at level one and scales all the way up to 290 movement speed at max. Now, if you know anything about Io, Io does two things. He gives percentage based movement speed, which Weaver gets. Also Sakuchi gets rid of the movement speed limit, which means when you tether Weaver, you put him over the movement speed limit by far, and on top of that, Io gets the movement speed. So you can imagine how fast you actually run. Keep in mind, Io also has a shard that gives him 10% movement speed extra on tether if he wants it. It's really crazy how fast you actually go, and that's not the whole meme, because sure, you could run around quickly and and just slaughter people, but there's also a couple other things. Number one, the Weaver has some of the most sustained issues in Dota. This hero cannot sustain for his life. It has no mana regen, no HP regen, it's not tanky, it, has, it doesn't have a built-in stout shield like melee heroes does, it just isn't sustainable. Io provides that, right? Also, Io is not really, uh, you know, Io dies really easily. Weaver saves him with the movement speed. On top of that, overcharge was changed from Io to give him spell amp. Now you would usually expect that to be bad with a right click carry, right? Like why would you want spell amp? The thing is, what items do Weaver buy? He rushes Maelstrom. What Nico Baby has been doing is literally going first item Maelstrom. No small items, not even boots. I actually think he maybe could go boots, but I guess he thinks it's overkill on movement speed. It's already plenty, but uh, yeah, he goes that Maelstrom. So you amp up the, the spell amp, right? The spell amp works with Maelstrom. So you get even more from that. And Maelstrom doesn't give attack speed, but Io does, so you flash farm. All in all, as you can see, Weaver can Sakuchi from camp to camp to camp to camp to camp, never run out of mana, get extra attack speed and spell up with this Maelstrom, and flash farm much faster than this hero ever could in the past. Next up on the list, we have Enigma and Earth Spirit. Now, this combo isn't really for the laning stage. Actually, it's okay 
Honestly, it, it is underrated for the lane. You know, I wouldn't say Enigma is particularly uh, dominant against certain heroes. You know, for instance, like Enigma is not really going to kill a hero like Monkey most of the time or or PA. You know, any of these like high armor heroes or Naga or TB. However, in certain matchups, you can do a lot of damage, right? Let's say you're against a Slark. You can really pound him with Eidolons. Earth Spirit can roll in, kick the, the carry into you, and you can slay him. Most importantly, this combo just is like the support shredder. The main thing you need to note about supports is that if they get put out of position, they die, right? If a Crystal Maiden is out of position, she dies. What does Enigma do? He makes people come out of position naturally because he denies the wave back. Anytime you deny the range creep with any hero that can do that, which is actually just Enigma right now, that's the only hero can, that can do it. I guess technically Oracle at some point, but like, you get what I'm saying, right? He brings the wave back, forces supports to walk up, Earth Spirit rolls on the supports that walk up, and then you kill them. It's really that simple. It's a really strong combo. And on top of that, it's great team fight, right? It's great, great, great team fight. Later into the game, it's so much disable. It's a great mix of initiation uh, that, that you have. And now in Dota, there, there's two forms of initiation, right? There's usually two main categories. There's a hard initiator and then a soft initiator. Examples of hard initiators are sometimes Tusk. Clockwork is a huge example. Tidehunter can be that way. Earth Spirit. Now, soft initiators are Earthshaker. Enigma, any heroes that aren't tanky, but initiate, right? Any heroes that have uh, initiation or stuns, but don't want to go in first. Now, Enigma can if he builds items like Greaves and Crimson Guard and Pipe, but the typical build on Enigma nowadays is Necro 3 into BKB. Um, and so, well, even with Blink, right? Blink, then BKB. And so you want someone to go in first so that they can bait people, right? Anytime someone goes in in Dota, people clump, right? They all surround that target. And that's why when you're playing a hero like Earthshaker, you really want a mid laner like Void Spirit to go in for you, right? If you have an Earthshaker on your team and you have a bunch of ranged heroes that, that can't really go in, uh, it, it's going to be very hard for him to hit a good Echo unless the enemy is just absolute doo-doo. So uh, <laughs> just uh, yeah, keep that in mind. And finally, the last thing I'd like to mention about this lane is Enigma is very self-reliant. The hero simply does well alone. A lot of teams even run this hero as a solo off laner because, as I said, he can keep the lane back. He keeps himself out of trouble and Earth Spirit likes to roam. So you can pick a mid laner that gets a lot of kills like Kalina or Leshrac or even Kunkka. You bring the Earth Spirit mid and you get a lot of kills. All right, next up on the list, we have Alchemist. <laughs> the best hero in Dota. Always the best hero in Dota. No matter how hard this hero gets nerfed, it's always the best hero in Dota. You can quote me on that. But uh, Alk with Lion is the combo here. And Alliance friend, I know you're probably going to say speed. Did you just pick all these lanes from the Alliance series? Yes, I did. And uh, this lane is so good, though. And I theory crafted this myself. I saw it. I saw it in the Alliance game. I'm like, yes, <laughs> this is what I've been thinking all along. They picked off lane elk. Yeah, off lane elk with off lane line. Now, I just want to let you guys know, you know, I'm putting on this, this on the table. I invented off lane elk. You'll notice if you go back, I will show you the first game I played with off lane elk at some point. I'll show you the date and you'll see that I'm the first. I am an innovator. You guys are getting the best content here. And considering you're getting this content, you know how you get even more of the best content? Is sign up the game leap down below. Wow. Nah, but in all seriousness, this lane is incredible. Now, you might be saying, what is it good at doing? You stun people in acid. There's really nothing else to it. But the nice thing about Lion is number one, you stun is a low cooldown, right? It's a very, very low cooldown. It's 12 seconds. And most importantly, it's a very long duration for a level one stun. 1.4 seconds and you can't miss it. Unless you're the lion I just played with in my last game. You can't actually miss it. Um, so you just stun people when they're in acid and then right click them. Funny enough, lion's like really, he has a pretty nice animation and good range. So like as long as you're not trading 1v1, you're kind of just like assisting with the trade. For instance, going on someone with acid, your hero pumps out damage. Like lion's actually pretty good at that to the point where I actually think this hero might be like fairly underrated as a position four. In fact, I, I might even say it's criminally underrated. That's right. I'm saying Lion's good. I actually think this hero, especially if you pick with Alk, late game. You know what that means? Late game. A we finger. Nah, that's not why you really should pick it. But uh, yeah, basically you just secure Alk a good start, and then you go roam, and that's that's the whole plan. And finally, last but not least on the list, we have a tri lane. and Alk's in it again. Yeah, buddy. This one I did not see any pros play it. I've not played it. I've never seen a pup player play it. And no one will probably ever play it except for you psychotic gamely viewers and me potentially. And that is Tidehunter, Alchemist, and Shadow Demon. Now you might be saying, hmm, I don't get it, Speed. 
Where's the synergy? What do they do? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. This is what we call the armor reduction lane. Yep, armor reduction lane. They have no armor. You put them in acid, you gush them, minus eight armor. Tell me what hero is eight armor. None! They all go into the negative. They will literally take like 30% extra physical damage from auto attacks. Now you might be like, hmm, Speed, uh, why do you need Shadow Demon? Couldn't you do this with like any hero with a stun? Yeah, honestly, I kind of wanted to put Lion, but I was like, eh. But here's why Shadow Demon's good. You lead with Shadow Demon. You disrupt. You get the Tide and the Alk. You surround the person. You body block them in. You trap them in the middle, okay? You have, right? Because you, you have five heroes, including the Illusions. You trap them in the middle. You completely surround them. They can't get out. They get stuck in the acid then. Gushed up. Insta-dead. Insta-dead. It's a flawless combo. It can't, you can't play against it. I swear. TI-10 is going to be, when, whenever it happens, I don't know. Who knows if there will ever be a TI-10. But when it happens, if it happens, it is going to be glorious when this lane comes out. But nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And by the way, really special announcement. We just announced our website. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, go sign up to Game League. Peace. And that's all, but remember, before you leave, come on, before you tune out, subscribe to the Game Leap website, where we are going to help you get to the next rank. If you're stuck, click the link down below, and I'm out. Peace.